Iolcus is on the verge of becoming the preeminent power in all of Greece. With a colony to call your own, you have begun to build a kingdom. Now you must spread your influence throughout Greece, making friends with those who treat you with respect and putting down those who will oppose you. As you near the end of your journey, Iolcus will shine forth and its power will not be eclipsed. It is now time to thank Zeus for lifting the curse on your house and enabling you to become a great leader. Building a sanctuary in his honor is sure to please him and he will smile upon you. Well, 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 welcome, welcome everybody to Let's Play Zeus, Marshal of Olympus. Do you know what I've just noticed? When you return to a, the parent city after you've done a colony, it puts the camera exactly where it was looking as you left. How weird is that? Like, I would have thought maybe it put the palace or some predefined place, but it really is just popping us straight back in. Everything is remembered. Yeah, so welcome, guys. We are back at Iolcus and um, the famed city of Jason and his Argonauts. And, uh, and we're on the final chapter. This is where we bring it to its its glory uh it's pretty good already i really like it but if we look at the mission goals here as we just saw we need a sanctuary to zeus this mission's really easy as a final mission we need residents um it's a zero qualify they definitely do qualify okay we're way above that we're, we're, we're done with everything except a sanctuary to zeus so all we really need to do is import bronze uh, sorry sculpture marble we've got our own wood and we build the sanctuary. We pick a place and we go for it. So I can fill this episode with some other fun stuff. So I do want to at least, just for my own satisfaction, I want to create... Let's play this through here. Unless we get by, attacked by a monster or something. I want to create another elite housing block. I want to use this area up to the north. I want to do the free-flowing elite housing block design that uh, we have been sort of teasing and talking about for a while. So I'll find a way to squeeze it in up here somewhere. Uh, I have a little bit of bad news, unfortunately. And that bad news is <laughs> the previous place we were at, uh, Corsaira, who is now our trading partner, um, and we will be creating a peer to them. They're paying tribute of wine, which is good, but uh, they're selling sculpture on from wherever else because we've just, we've demonstrated this colony, I guess, that they can have positive money and purchase sculpture. You know, I really think a thing for a colony mission should be that you end it with positive money all the time on your expenses. I don't know, maybe they don't have a way of tracking that. Anyway, um, I said I wanted to go back there because it's so good. But if you watch the last episode, I saved after setting aside the final goods. So, I mean, I, I guess I do have some older save files there, but we don't really have the completed city as a save file anymore for me to go back to and up, up level all the townhouses and stuff. So I don't know, maybe we'll take that design again and our next parent city will look like that or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, a real disappointment and it is my fault. I am sorry, guys. Let's see if we can get these guys to evolve with a gazebo. Nice little 2x2. Two two two. Gazebos are genuinely really useful and a bench. And you don't see me placing them too much. There we go, we got him to evolve. We could move the storehouse and put a peel there. I never really wanted this storehouse here in the first place. So let's empty that marble. And he's accepting it. So that will get emptied away. And we can uh, we can remove the storehouse. Put some appeal in there. And uh, that should be good. And looks like we've already got a fair bit of marble, obviously. We could build another sanctuary as well at some point. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll just take it as we come. I did want to give, by the way, a little bit of trivia. So I read between the last two episodes about Iolcus, because I didn't really know what the deal was as far as real life is concerned. And uh, so it turns out these days, it's a village. It's quite small now. And if you like go to it on Wiki, you can read about you know what province it's in and how it's managed nowadays. But mythologically speaking, this is what Wiki says. It says a little bit about who their rightful king was, Aeson, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this was, um, so uh, Aeson's son, Jason, Sent his Argonauts and him to go look for the Golden Fleece. That's where this that story was basically located. The ship Argo set sail from here with a crew of 50 demigods and princes under Jason's leadership. And their mission was to reach Colchis in Aeus on the eastern seaboard and uh, reclaim it and bring back the Golden Fleece. Which, of course, uh, was one of the places that was on the map. Was it the mythological place, I guess? Um... So, yeah, that's a little bit about this story. Now, if we had done the other colony, by the way, Lemnos here, this ally, if you remember, if we had established Corinth, then Lemnos would have been fighting us because Corinth was kind of more of a battle-heavy thing. 
And in this mission, we actually would have then had a rival to go conquer and send our army to. But as it stands for us, we only have Chosen, who aren't doing very much. Now, they might attack us. By the end of this, I might have Chosen under our thumb. Wouldn't that be cool? A gift of wheat from Corsaira. <laughs> of course, they're giving us wheat. Um, I'll postpone that. I will check our stuff. We have plenty. We don't really have much cheese anymore. We actually have no cheese. We're selling every little bit of cheese that we can. Oh, by the way, the other thing with Corsaira is they buy fleece. So we do have a little bit of an excess of fleece, so that's okay. Now, mythologically speaking, do we have any fleece enhancers? Oh, we might. What? Well, okay, hold on. So we got Zeus. Demeter will bless, like, granaries, maybe? I don't know. What will she bless? Some kind of food production. Dairies, possibly. She might bless the dairies. That'd be cool to see. Apollo gives us the oracle. Zeus is up here. Hermes, we know he does. Dionysus gives us the wine, which we're already getting from elsewhere. So yeah, maybe we just do Zeus actually here. I would love fleece enhancement. Doesn't anyone give us fleece enhancement? There are the additional gods, obviously, in Poseidon. Well, here we. So we're no longer struggling. God, I'm looking back at all this and dare I say I'm not nostalgic necessarily. There we go. We can accept the wheat now. But I think we accepted maybe like one. There's a gift of 32 wine. Whoa. Um. Happiness Monument, the wheat we wasted 17 cheeves, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm not nostalgic, but I mean, Jesus, do you guys remember the issues we had? Let's uh, kill that so that he goes that way and we can get rid of that roadblock because it's now irrelevant. And now it's like, well, we could just build lots of stuff. So I'm going to do possibly the final row of carding sheds. I don't think these matter too much, but we can kind of just have fun and play here now. So, whoa, 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 yeah, it was she. I'm never going to do that and not second guess myself. I'm kind of the, oh, that other map, Corsairo was so cool. Because it had that meadow on the left as well, remember? we I, I saw that while I was editing. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, there's that other meadow. Right, there we go. So we got lots of sheep. I think our carding industry is done. And it's nice how we've ended up using everything. It'd be cool if there was a bit of meadow there. We could end up having some buildings, like, right out here. Should we do it? Should we make it? Oh my god, this would be a cozy building over here. Wow. What the hell would go over there, though? Maybe a little bit of timber? So set up two timber mills. And these guys, they're working out there. They are working way out there. Maintenance. I'm going to give them on-site store. Well, they got a bay there. Is that because we were selling it? Oh, no, that was for the triremes. They're trying to get the wood, and they're trying to get armor. But the triremes have been built now. We could build another one, I suppose. Well, look, these guys are... I'm just going to give them a road connection. Gift of sculpture from Corsaira. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'm trying to play, game. I'm trying to play, and you're spamming stuff at me. I don't want to sit here with it on pause. I want to see my people walking around. And you're giving me no choice. Alright, that's all. Th that's not all the sculpture we need for Zeus, but that is a lot of sculpture. Can I just check? We've got 100 people unemployed. Oh, we're in such a good position here. So there we go. It's been 16! That's two bays full of the stuff! Wow! Uh, let's say, accept sculpture. Accept sculpture. So they're ready. Oh, well, we should get on with the elite housing then. Right. If we want them to have a little bit more elite... So you'll notice you don't really need much elite housing for this whole adventure. We are... Comp no, no, no. Let's get on with our exports. That's the most important thing right here at the start. So we can get a pier to Libya and we can get a pier to Corsaira. Libya will buy sculpture and wine. So we could start just... We could chart. We could start shifting that wine on, especially since we're full. And I anticipate we'll be getting a lot of gifts of it. Now, uh, just a little spoiler here as I watch this back in editing now. Uh, the truth is, we're going to be getting gifted insane, unlimited, near infinite amounts of sculpture here. They are, Corsaira is going to keep giving us that 16 sculpture over and over and over and over and over and again. So, uh, I'm looking back at this, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, you could sell it. It never occurred to me um, after this because I never looked at the peers again. But wow, the, the money-making possibilities here are insane. So, a couple more piers. Can we put a pier in a fun and weird and wacky place? What about, like, all the way up there? Actually, where are the, the boats entering? They're not entering along the river, are they? They're entering down here, I'm pretty sure. And as I said in the previous episode... I want to use the islands! 
As I said in the previous episode, the closer you get to the spawn point for the traders, the better. Well, where are they? I don't see anyone coming just yet. They should be coming. It feels like the piers are just very slow here, you know, all the cheese piling up, all the wood piling up, the olive oil not coming in particularly quickly. If I see trade ships over here, that'll be crazy. We could staff all of these. I'm not going to staff them all just yet, but we can have them patrol for fun. Oh, did I mess that up when I clicked away? Patrol area. There we go. So they'll, they'll create a little bit more ambience for us. Just waiting for one of those ships to show up. There we go. Yeah, all right. So actually, these are very good piers. They're excellent piers, in fact. In fact, I think that's the meta spot. I don't know if there's a closer spot since the islands are invalid. Well, we're gonna. there's nothing for it, guys. We're going to have to get rid of some of these trees. Hey, that works out. That works out. We can get rid of, like, three of these. And our new expansion into timber over here is now a thing. Oh, my God. And we can set them up over there as well. Oh, I'm going all over the place. Well, hold on. Let's do... Let's replace those mills. So one, two, three. We can do that. Give them a water crossing. There. Since that's the only place I'll accept it. Move around those trees. Uh, gift of sculpture? Oh, no, no, no. That's the one. Thank you. All 16 sculpture. Now, we should see that those two bays are filled up. Well, they're not totally filled up. Wait, what? How are they not totally filled up? I swear it's eight per bay. Eight. Four. Oh, I guess the other four went somewhere else that's opened up. we got to get on this Zeus stuff quick. Right, so they're good. They'll need maintenance. You see how slapdash you... Oh, wow, look at that effect there with the grass. That's really interesting. You see how slapdash you can be about things <laughs> once you've got the employment and once you've got a little bit of stability. Uh, so even these ones, I'm afraid, guys, even these are going to have to go. That does nothing because there's a rock behind it. It doesn't have to be unpleasant. Worship me. And Hello, Dionysus. Hold on. There is a way onto that island. I'm sure of it. Right there. No? Yeah, there is. And there's no rocks on either side. Ooh, there's a rock block in that one. But there's no rocks there. So ho hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to kill all the trees here. To force them onto that island. Do you think they'll do it? They should, right? And I think, well, we might have screwed them a little bit here. I don't know. Oh, employees needed. That's the scariest moment in the game. 67. Is that because we hit zero? Is that because we had mass devolution? We had devolution because they no longer have culture. They never had culture because the stadium turned off, possibly. And I'm not sure why the stadium turned off for a second. Well, the culture's returning. A little bit of instability, but that's fine. Right, piers, 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 piers. All these game days are passing us by. So we have a pier there. We'll have a pier there. We'll give them... So if I attach this, what happens? Nothing, really. They just need their own maintenance. Well, that was unnecessary then, wasn't it? Because there's not a road through there. So we can do the road up here. With a roadblock. With the maintenance guy. Right, now we are going to import. We're going to export wine. We could do the whole Dionysus Grove thing, but we are... We are oh, no, we've already got him. Hold on. Oh, no, we don't already have him. That's a statue. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, so we could do the Dionysus growth thing. Um, if we were buying grapes, we could do that. Because he doesn't do anything with the growing of the grapes. He only cares about the making of the wine. So if you import grapes... Now, that's a really cool, like, little economic simulation there, if you think about it. You import grapes. He blesses your wineries to quadruple your production of the thing. So, you, it's better to make wine in one colony than another. It's actually overall for Greece, the yields are higher. Um, we could buy wheat from them as well, but I don't think we need to do that. Because we make our own wheat. We could sell fleece to these guys, we don't want to do that. We could import all of those, which we don't really need to do. Maybe sculptures at some point. These are useless. Well, they're not useless, we're selling a little bit of wine. Hmm. Which gives us a bit of money. Now, buying marble is important. So, we're going to start buying marble. And, yeah, we're selling... We're selling olive oil? 
Oh yeah, because we have heaves of olive oil. Of course we do. <laughs> We've got the most ridiculous olive oil industry you can imagine. Okay, so with all of that done, we have an elite housing bit district I want to build, and we have Zeus's sanctuary that I want to build. It looks like we already have 65 marble, which might be enough to place him down. Yes, it is. So Zeus, where on the map do we want to put Zeus? Zeus won't fit in many places. A lot of people end up putting Zeus down here because they don't... Like, I started... Oh, they're selling more wine. Okay, thank you. Um, I can't believe you need more appeal. I mean, what, what do you want from me? Oh, my God, we have a large Zeus statue because Zeus is happy to us. This is a good adventure. Do you know what you need to get into my heart for a good adventure? Wait, what happened to our... Oh, they're over there. Even he won't evolve. Maybe he will with that. And then maybe he will with that. It's it's tricky in there. Oh my god, no, they're totally going to evolve, right? Look at all that extra appeal. Oh. Except he ran out of food. Granary is full. But she's not close. She's got an internal Aurora. So there is, um, there is something I've been wanting to talk to you guys about with an internal Agora. There is a benefit to doing it on the inside. Like in the WP special and all that kind of stuff. The benefit is... Um, oh, and we can delete this. Uh, the, an, a, 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 um, an Agora sets off a little bit of appeal. Um, just as there are three buildings that do it. I looked at this very specifically now. The three buildings are the Agora, the Water Fountain, and... I uh, forgot it. Oh, the Podium. The podium sets off a little bit of its own appeal. So all three of those, if you've got a choice, inside or outside, putting them inside is good. It can save you money on Boulevard there or whatever. Now, the reason why the Agora has a little bit of appeal, you can have wood, that's fine, is if we imagine some kind of a road that we're going to build, like this, this road here. If I want to um, Avenue all along it or Boulevard all along it or whatever, right? So there's people walking there. If I want to do that, I cannot put an Agora on there, as we know. So I think the reason it sets off its own little bit of appeal is to counter that, maybe? And of course, we've seen ways that we can put stuff on the other side of the road, maybe. Or Impressions just like the idea that it's an appealing place to live near, because, you know, who doesn't live like living near downtown, you know? If you, if you look at that as the equivalent of, like, a mall or something, you know, like, or any old shopping promenade. Okay, so we're getting some wine there. Right, so yeah, Zeus, people usually put at the bottom. We have got to figure out what we want to do with Zeus for ourselves, though. I haven't got much space for him. I like the idea of him looking in on the elite houses. Which does work with the design I want to go with. We could do that. Okay. Zeus? Oh my god, you're so big, Zeus. And I think he won't because of the people, maybe? Let's see, we need money and 48 marble. We're not we're not using marble in any way. We didn't just give it to people. Pretty sure it was just because they were there. Or it's because... Did it go green for a second? It did. Okay, it's just because there's people there. Corsara has money woes. You have money... Oh, well, no, that's, that's, that's okay. I can kind of believe that. You can have my money. That's not a problem. We're on the hardest difficulty, and they only asked for 500. So as soon as that trade is gone, and hopefully no more immigrants... All right, there. Once that trade is gone, we're going to put him... We need space for a road. So, like, that is where I want Zeus. <laughs> I'm looking at those supply guys on the bottom left thinking, oh, my God, if you guys go off-road. That trader is, though. So, this is going to slow down our trading post speed, clearly, because these guys are going to be moving around the the sanctuary instead of through it. Okay, let's speed this up. No, don't you do it. Oh, come on! <laughs> This feels so much like sitting in a car waiting at a roundabout is unreal. Come on! See, this is why you want a stable... It's not even going to be what I think it's going to be. Oh, this is nonsense. This is nonsense. Alright, we're doing it another way. Zeus is going up here, alongside the palace. Okay, good. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the front here. And they have a road as well. They have a road alongside the palace because of this road, which is excellent. I don't know if that tower has a road. Oh, we still have space. Look at that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. It looks so good, doesn't it? They have a road. Okay, uh, so then 
out the back here. I guess we can put that. I don't really think it's necessary for anything. So they are bringing the marble. Now here we can justify, I think. Naxus needs fleece. That's okay. Um, maybe having one or two more sculptures guilds. That maintenance man probably needs to move. See, interestingly though, do they even need him? Like, what does this guy do here? Surely he just patrols up and down and grabs them. I'm pretty nervous about this though, because if he messes this up, if he goes the wrong way, I need to block those. Like he'll come down and then he'll go up. He'll keep them maintained. So, elite housing will be here. So I'm gonna <coughs> kill a little bit of space here. So we're gonna do a free flowing elite housing block. Who are you? What do you do? This city has entered its halcyon days. It's a joy to live here. Oh, you're a lumberjack and you're walking really far away. Look, they went to the island! They cut down the few trees that they had access to. Ah. Oh. I just want to say, we might have opened access to the whole island if this tiny little thing here accepts a bridge. And I know that looks really small, but it might. And that would have really opened it up. I wish I could go back and have a look at that, but I'm only just spotting it now. Brilliant. Um... Cosira has money woes. They're only asking for 250. Ugh, I haven't given myself much space. Right, I guess here's, it, we'll just get started here. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to have all Agoras along the bottom. <clears throat> and in fact, what I'm going to do... So, this idea I only know works. And so, in a way, we, we, I'm going to kind of wing it. But I only know works because of having seen the block online. All right? And what I know that they did was they had all Agoras along one flank. And then they had all culture along the other flank. So that's what I'm going to try to do. You want food? You can have food. You want wood? You can have wood. So what we will do is get the Agoras as close as possible to the bottom of this. And Agoras are too wide. Unfortunately, I have to put the road in first. So that storehouse is a bit annoying. We could shift it. Well, it's going to empty out in a second. So we could wait. No, let's shift it anyway. Just put that there. Get marble. Empty of marble. Once that's gone, we can get rid of it and we'll have a nice road. And we can figure it out. And instead of Grand Agoras for this one, you've already actually seen me do an elite housing district without Grand Agoras. But for this one, instead of Grand Agoras, we're going to do four basic Agoras. What we're going to try to... The, the, the goal I'm going to try to accomplish here is a big wide square. And we want goods and services just roaming evenly all over the square. So making the entry point of the goods and services as wide as possible is in our best interest. I'm actually going to rotate the screen here because doing this behind this wall is going to be annoying. Or difficult at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this stretch of road. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to drag... I think we're one too far along already. I'm going to drag it along like th this? No, we weren't one out too, too long, were we? Okay. We're going to go out one, one like that. Go along. Do you know what happens? While I'm mousing around, it will... It will move right as my eyes go to look over there, and I won't catch it. So we will have one Agora with some roadblocks on the side, because we're not going to have them walk down towards Zeus. We're going to have the one Agora, and then we are going to give him a gap. Like a two-by-two two gap, and nothing's going to be there except a little bit of beauty. Then his way out to storage. And then what we'll do is we'll have a gap. And then the next Agora. Uh, like so. And then we've got to get the third. Oh, God, we're not going to have space. We're not going to have space. We are going to need to do the Agoras. Let's kill all of this. We're going to need to do the Agoras. And we can put the road back down, as it was. Along that other flank, I think. If you worship me, traders will find... See, there's there's a lot of character in this city. The way that they set this up with tax. and Oh, speaking of tax, we can tax here now. We can just explode our money by putting tax down. There we go. Tax office. 
Now, who has been struggling for appeal in the middle? No one. You've all evolved. Well, mind you, you're struggling for appeal. But you're easy to give appeal. You live on the outside. I can do that fine. Well, whatever. We will start taxing these people. Now, in theory, with this loop, the tax man... Oh, okay. <clears throat> So here's the final trick to housing housing blocks. Well, no, no, no. This is not the final trick. Here's another trick to housing blocks. Here's another reason why housing blocks are... Like, there's no one perfect design. There's lots of things you can fiddle with. People have been talking about it years. Because remember I said there are three rungs of walkers. There's the Agora guy, the maintenance guy, so on. The really long ones, the watchman. There's the really short ones, the infirmary and the water walker. Then there's the middle band of culture. Hold on. It's all culture plus tax. They live in the middle band. So we want tax on near the bottom of the U. And in theory, he'll rotate up there and down there and up there and down there. But if he ever makes, you know, some wonky decisions too many times in a row, we won't tax everyone. Just as sometimes these things are devolving. And we can hedge our bets by adding more, but that means plots that houses would live in and so on. You get the idea. So anyway, this is pretty good, though. He wants appeal. That's the large Zeus statue. I don't want to do that yet. We're going to probably put that in the uh, elite neighborhood. There we go. We can give him some columns. This is getting an old hat, or is this still the coolest thing ever? When I surround a housing block with columns. What do you guys think? Oh, areas cut off from the world. Uh-oh. I'm just going to click undo on that then. Please undo it. There we go. Huh. Oh, wow. Well, hi, hold on, how's it cut off from the world? They can go in through this road and along. Maybe it means the gazebo got cut off from the world? I think the houses are fine. They have an entrance over here as well. The houses are not totally cut off from the world. I've left them roads. It is a hell of a labyrinth. I don't even know if we can see the walkers on the inside. But look, 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 there's a woman in there. By the way, I think there's something really cool going on with the design of these houses as well. In terms of what impressions did. Well, you may have noticed, the bigger the building... And the bigger the statue and stuff, the more unwieldy and annoying it is to work with in terms of the art style. But what they've quite cleverly done, and you can see it in, in these big buildings and things as well. Like in the previous part, we, we missed a destroyed building because it was behind this big chunk of this temple or the sanctuary, right, uh, to Dionysus. Um, but for houses, there's a lot you do with houses. It's very meticulous. There's a lot of details. When they're really tall, they're, they're a nightmare to work with. But there's this really cool self-correcting design going on here where by the time they're really tall, you're done. You're not fiddling with them anymore when they're really... Like, this would be a nightmare. If, it, if the game was designed, I had to get in there and do stuff right now, it would be a nightmare. But they, they've specifically set it up that when you get this big, prominent, amazing effect of everything crowded, you've got an amazing downtown, that's when your hand's off. You don't have to worry anymore. And most you'll have to do is put a little bit of appeal down for that final step of evolution. And you can do that outside the block, mostly. So I do, I th really like that. I, th I think that's very, very clever. Gift of Sculpture, 16. I don't think they're going to be able to give it to all, uh, all of it to us. I really don't. So... We may need another bay. They just get, we don't even have to buy the sculpture, it appears to me. I think we're just going to be given a Zeus Sanctuary. Look, they're beginning here. All right, all right, back to the housing district. So... We rotate the screen twice. Now, the Agora has to come along. Ugh, this is gonna... This is gonna ruin it. It's gonna ruin it. A little bit, maybe. <laughs> um, right, we'll start on this end. And what we'll do... Now, th this bridge can't be moved. This bridge is... Very, very, very useful. It's one of the earliest bridges. But we'll start on this end. We'll have it shoved in as much as we can. The storage bays would have to move. They're, they're fine. They are they are totally movable. Can I just verify? Yes, yes, you do work. Thank you. Okay, common agora. So that's one agora. Oh, it's... It's not going to work down there. It has to be up here so we can get the full length of the thing we got no choice so that that's fine though like all right <laughs> these guys apparently work here it's not that road it's this road there we go 
Right, so we get the Agora. One common Agora, right here on the edge, just like this. I'm going to leave a gap. I'm going to put some beautification in it. Because ultimately, I don't even know whether this will work on this difficulty level. It had better. Why I order it had better. So then we do this, and I'm just going to go along. As we can see here. Common Agora. That's two. We just need two more now. Oh, that's just worked. Well, there's supposed to be a supply district back there. <laughs> it's not really going to be room for it. This is a problem with a lot of housing blocks online. The problem it being, they're too big. All right, we can shift it all along, but then there's not going to be any space for any houses. I would just say let's give it up and not do it. But... Well, we're just going to not have that exit. We're just not going to have this exit. We're going to have to modify. We're going to have to do our own thing. I would say let's not do it, but I don't really know what else there is to do in this episode except fast forward and wait for Zeus to be built. We really are on easy street here. So, let's not do that. Um, and then the final one here and here. So, that's one side of it done. That's the Agoras. And I think he wants to be one more long, probably. So, and you know, it makes it all the sweeter when we have it finished. It really does. So then we can have a back, a back entrance over here as well, I suppose. So, uh, then out the front is going to be elite houses. But the way I want to do it, here's the magic. What sucks about this video is I haven't really explained 25 crates. What ex what sucks about this video is I haven't really even explained the idea. The idea is we're going to extend these these road blocker roads along. One, two. But hold on, there should be one here, but we cut it out because there was no space. Oh, we we're, we're just going to have to completely freeform it. Right, we boulevard. We didn't have boulevard before. We couldn't do this earlier in the episode because there was no boulevard. There's going to be a road there somewhere, but I'll figure it out. And then what I'm going to do is elite house there, elite house there, elite house there. And I kind of want them to have neighbors. I kind of want them to be in twos. But I don't think they're going to be in twos. They can be in twos like this, I suppose. And you see it's letting me place them? That's how strong Avenue is. Avenue is ridiculously strong. Actually, no, look, because we just don't have the space. Here, what I'm going to do is... Not Avenue, Boulevard along here. So we get the four statue effect, basically. This is what I'm going for. I want lots of intersections, free-flowing travel of goods. Oh, please tell me this works. Please tell me that my maths has worked out here. And then we can have a guy there. We can't have a guy there. No, it's because we, we don't... we. We needed that one extra space. Maybe, actually. We probably needed a lot of extra space. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay. We're going to get at least two rows in. So, you live there. All right. And then we're going to have our statues there. You know, I'm really scared after Corsaira that there's random holes are going to be appearing. Um, And I guess... Do we... Yeah, I, I think someone can just live here, on the edge. I think he can. Like that. But he doesn't need this road here. I think he needs a monument or parks. Maybe we have a, a, a row of parks there. And here. And Corinthian columns. In honor of the apocalypse at Corinth. That road is unnecessary now. So hopefully he can live there with me now removing these. Because that's the edge. Well, see, and we could pull it down. Because we're going to have another house here now. But I think that might... No, let's do it. Fine, 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 fine. We'll do this. See, this is an efficient movement here. Because guys are going to roam down and they don't need to. You want wood? That's fine. So now we have an elite house here, 
an elite house here because I'll avenue that that one's okay then it's gonna be gap a boulevard road oh I don't know I'll do that I don't know what's going on in the middle hey maybe that's where the zoo statue lives so these guys live like this we pull it along but there's a better way of doing this where you just throw all the roads down in like a square shape you know you put the car park in first let's put it that way and then you slot the houses in at the end so one final road along there right so this is the back road for these guys at least you have that straight all the way along <coughs> all the way along look at all the statues we've got loads and loads of statues middle section is ugly but what are you gonna do right so this this is not going to be anything now. So let's give them a fish pond. The fish pond of the town, I suppose. Is that right up against Zeus? It's not. If Zeus ends up roaming along the, these horrible roads around the side, that's going to suck. So once we've got it built, because they're using these roads for now, but once we've got it built, I'm going to have the entrance here so that Zeus roams out among our populace. So let's see what we can do here. Right, Elite House will live there. There will be a gap, a road a gap and then an elite house there oh my god oh no 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 okay they all need maintenance around here as well what broke actually it wasn't here what broke what broke what broke <gasps> it's something near what is that it was a granary oh a granary where are we oh we are um it's because we're on a new perspective. We're on the southwest corner right now. But it actually looks like we're on the uh, the northeast. Okay, yeah, and all this stuff's going to start breaking. So, maintenance. I mean, I really don't know where we want to be putting the maintenance. More maintenance there. I don't know. We'll just let them flow for now. This is one of the reasons you want to design a town on pause, frankly. So, boulevard up there. Oh, why aren't I drawing the roads all the way along? Draw it all the way along so you can do it all in once. All in one. Right. Elite house there. Oh, come on. Well, whatever. It will be elite house there, and then it will be... Oh, I don't know the maths. Let's put a, uh, an infirmary down. As a stand-in. <laughs> what a waste of money. A whole hospital just as a stand-in. Right, that goes to Zeus. These are not going to evolve. We've got, we got to have culture up here. Oh, we've just done a really good thing. And now we've just done an awful thing. There's got to be culture. Culture around the back of Zeus, maybe? But they've got to be the walkers. All right, that is the last elite house. How is that not a higher pill area game? That is definitely a higher pill area. Corinth. Look at that. Wow, wasn't Corinth great? Look at that. It was amazing. There you go. Okay. So then we do Corinthian columns all along here. Right, culture. Now they need, they actually like need double. They need a load of stuff. So let's give them a gym. This should be. <laughs> this should be a road. Oh my God, I've just realized that issue with the four by three screen thing. Maybe we can rotate our viewpoint in order to see the extra bits of the maps. We totally can! Oh, like here I can't see, but if I flip, I can now. Oh, we can do that. All right, and now we, we're not dealing with the, the walls and things yet. Okay, so they need culture. Now, we've got this in the middle here. We will put a large Zeus statue right there. We will put a podium... Oh, they're so far from the stadium as well, you know? Like, I do like to have the stadium close. I know in theory it doesn't matter or whatever, but goddamn. Right, a podium. Podium is a little bit of high appeal as well. There can be a gym that we're just going to mix. Oh, it suddenly feels like we've got loads of space. Oh, we totally do. Oh, my God. That, uh, that viewpoint thing is crazy. No, we're good, guys. Look at this. We're good. We're good. I mean, we can have a gym there. Why not? And some maintenance in the middle. And maybe another gym here. 
Because this is just completely... This is just a free-for-all now. So there can be a gym there. And then we will get... So theatres. This is quite good. We haven't really seen many theatres. Those guys are probably going to want a, something to be pretty near them. So let's give them... Oh, no. Come on. Don't be crazy. We need the space. Let's give them a hedge maze back there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like, you know, being a little kid here again now, just throwing shit around. And they can have a theatre. It's actually told me to build a drama school. Do we not have a single drama school here? Why can't someone live there? Someone can live there. You can live alongside Zeus. Of course you can. Alright, but look, we've learned a valuable new skill in dealing with the game engine. A skill that would never be talked about online or in some forum. Or maybe it would. I don't know. So we can have another podium. Well, let's surround... See, I don't want to do all these excessive roads. It doesn't have to be unpleasant. Worship me and find out. I mean, that is the theme, right? The theme is that they just wander around doing whatever they want, but it seems a bit nuts. So, right, let's get a good mix. There's probably something that I haven't done. We've done one podium, and there are no colleges nearby. So let's put a college at the end of the road. The college should be good here, right? Like, a guy's going to come out of this college, he's going to walk, he's going to go into that podium. The podium is in the centre. The podium is in this beautiful middle area. There you go, look, it's starting to evolve. They're starting to be happy. Uh, this back area... We're going to need all of our supplies. We can do our storage trick, though. Needs all of that. And then this one... So whatever vendor there can't use the back door. Well, they, they won't anyway. I don't know why I did that. Um, so let's see. Philosophy. They have a college, a podium. Probably want a podium over here in this side of town. So let's do that. Now, athletes. They have seen a gym. A gym, a gym, a gym. There's no gym access up here, so they probably want a gym up there. And now for actors and drama. There's no actors anywhere near here. But there is a drama school, I'm sure, right? And it will be showing the drama. There's not a drama school anywhere near here. We never made a drama school. Okay, so the drama school will be at the entrance. No, it won't. It will be up here. Uh, gift of sculpture from Corsaira. 16, postpone. Okay, thank you. How is the sanctuary going? He needs wood. He needs 22 additional sculptures. Okay, you're getting marble. You're accepting olive oil. And you're empty. You should probably be getting olive oil. Oh, look. Are they devolving because they've lost their olive oil there? You should probably be doing that. Now, money is still okay, and climbing, actually, as we've been doing all of this. So let's pay the wage. Let's pay better wages, which will make people happier, and it will fill in our employment issues. Look at that. Pay people good wages. Zeus knows it. Right. Pay this here, and then uh, accept the sculpture there. Am I crazy? I didn't just sort do that. Did I marble get? Olive oil get? Yeah, okay. Right. Um... Yes, the spinning. I I'm surprised I hear that voice line so much when, frankly, like, I think we want the theatres. We want we want the culture walkers to be on this side. We could put another theatre down. I'm going to do it just for the novelty, because how many theatres have we really seen in this playthrough? And look at that spot. It's perfect for it. So that's... That is not... This... This is not what I expected of this um you have no competitor access yeah you may never get compet they might not fully evolve they only need the competitor for that final bit all right there's some uh, statue thank you some statue we can accept it all um they only need that final for the final evolution so let's not be too mad about that now horses need to be on site now so we can have some stables along here. We can do that. Horse farm, horse ranch, horse farm, and then another horse ranch there. 
We can squeeze a road along. Bring that up. Offer them some maintenance. Oh, this is good. Look at that. Oh, lovely. And then storage. So I'm going to put down one, two, three, four, five storage bays. Plus a granary because ultimately they need to eat. Once that guy moves. Right. The granary will get any and all food. Doesn't matter. I guess not wheat. Uh, yeah, I guess wheat because I, I don't know. I don't know what our situation is here. By the way, how's employment in... Yeah, we've got unemployed people now. Okay, so... Um, that's funny. You up the wage rate and end up with unemployed. <laughs> but what that means is unemployed and willing to work. We're looking for jobs is what that really means. Okay. And we're going to do our trick. So, we're going to mix our commodities. So, we're going to say get armor. Get olive oil. Get fleece get wine so these here these these four so i'm going to do that on all the bays now this last one is just for wheat we got to get wheat so that the horse workers can get to work okay and hopefully just the two stables is enough if it's not we can make we can squeeze some stables in up here i guess let's do that i suppose in fact there's more storage bays over here so actually yeah let's, so let's let's duplicate it we'll finish this and then we'll duplicate it over there okay so, but then, what, so I've done that, I've just cut, and I've done that with all the storehouses. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, we're going to, so there's four commodities, we're going to quarter this. So we're going to go down to 16, and then we're going to go down to 8, yeah? So everyone is going to get 8 of each thing, which is hopefully still a little more than the vendor can take in a single trip. But everyone's getting 8. Now, if there's ever a shortage of anything... Our workers from every bay will be ready to run out and do their jobs. Every bay is responsible for a shortage. So if we ever have a massive shortage, they're all going to run out real quick. I don't know whether this totally works because the, it's not like the vendor takes from them all at once. There are some tricks going on here. There are some weird, some oddities. So we'll see. But there you go. So that's Eolcus. That's it set up. I'm going to cut here as well as we put these down. Oh, look at that. It's like the two horse ranches are kissing. Oh, I just tried double clicking one of these numbers to see if it would bring up an input box that I can type it in. But that's not a thing. In a modern game, that definitely would be. Oh, that bay also. It doesn't have access to a road. Uh, Can we shift them? I don't think we can. There's no space. This is just dead. We could shift it regardless. Just so that a smaller building might fit. But yeah, that, uh, we're one square too small. Damn. Well, and then actually shifting it is a bit weird because we want it close to the vendors. So that, speaking of the vendors, I don't believe which vendor is where matters. Oh, we, did, we need space for a granary as well. Well, can you reach that granary? Yeah, it's a long walk for her. All right, we'll have a granary. A gift of armor. Thank you for the armor. That's nice of you. We'll have um, we'll have the granary out the front. That's going to have some appeal consequences. Can I just check hazards? Is everyone nice and repaired? Well, these guys are not. Oh, there's a risk of fire and everything up here. Oh, but there's no space. There's no space for a maintenance worker up there. There's one. There's space for one there. What are the odds he's going to roam up there, though? I mean, he'd better. Oh, I can see why, actually. Yeah, the, the upper city needs one. Oh, is that? No, that's not path. We could turn it into path, though. Hold on. He, he, he might want those columns, but we can give him a monument. There's no monuments left. Well, whatever. We can have a slip road. Actually, it doesn't even need to be that long. We just do that. Maintenance officer. And if you need more stuff to be happy, look, I'll give you a gazebo. I will lavish your back garden, all right? But you're going to need to live near some maintenance. Okay, so that will keep that stuff all topped up. I'm glad I checked that. Okay, right. So vendors, um, let's just go down the order. So we're going to do food there. And it's, it's mirrored, okay? So food, food. Fleece. Fleece. Now, I want to say as well, guys, there is an excellent mixed design that I would like to do. So then we go arms here and arms here for the next elite housing block. 
and we'll have a bit of space for it because I think the next one is not um oh we already did arms whoops I don't think the next city is like cramped but there you go okay so we're done I think um <laughs> I need to stop saying that every episode hold on we missed something here what oil how do I screw that up maybe I clicked and it just didn't go through I don't know Editing me will have noticed. So free flowing. So they they walk out. The cart guy just go wherever you want. Just mosey around, meander, relax, have fun. You know that is to me the definition of an opulent lifestyle. And it is on those grounds. We have a destroyed building apparently. Oh, but that might have been a while ago. Oh no no no! Here it was up here. So we can have wine. These are tributes. Thank you. Was it both a tribute and a, um, a gift? Well, that reminds me of that. Isn't there a scene in, like, Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul where they, like, pay their drug kingpin overlord and they're like, ooh, and here's a little bit of extra money for you. You know, just to, just to grease the wheels, just that little bit more. Anyway, there you go. Oh, come on. Look, he's coming. He's coming. Drama school. No, he's fixing it. He's right there. He's fixing. See, having a road on the other side of the house might be beneficial because it means that they spin all the way around or something. I don't know. He's gonna If he chooses to take a right here, he's going to go right to the end before turning around and leaving. I love this effect with the Zeus statue in the middle. Of course, it would look cooler with pillars around it as well or something. If they want, want to live there, I'll let them live there. Okay, they will. Oh, we've blocked the city off pretty big there. Okay, hold on. The only way in, let's watch these guys, is right through these trees past this storage bay. That's the only way in. In fact, to the whole city. Whoa, isn't that cool? Hold on. Can they come around the back over here? Palace walls, and it's blocked off, and then cliffs. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. The entire city... The entrance is here. So this is where what you do, right, is you say, okay, I'll be part of this world. No, what you, what you do is you, you you mess with these guys and their job, and they're going to start complaining about bureaucracy and stuff. And then what we do is we go fortifications, gatehouse. We draw the path up to the entrance, because I think that's fine. I, I think that works without a problem. And then we say there's a wall. We could draw the wall right out into the marsh, but I'm not going to. And there you have it. The entrance to Eolcus. And that re that is it. That is the pixel that they're allowed to enter in. Uh, beautification. Oh, that would have been good, wouldn't it? Hedge maze. All right, a hedge maze. To try to make it look at least somewhat nice. <laughs> it's an entrance to a town, you know, and a gazebo, a couple of gazebos, there you go. And some park. Oh no, we'll give you a bench. Imagine the amount of people using that bench and that bench and that bench and that bench. Of course, of course, Ari regards us more highly. Chosen demands money. Yeah, whatever. He's like a fly buzzing around our head, you know. It doesn't really matter. Oh, unless they can walk over the hedge maze, but I don't think they can. We could give them a bench there as well. Wow. I suppose if you found a way onto this landmass. You could, um, you could also find a way into the city. This surprisingly seems a bit empty now, doesn't it, with these cardi sheds? What I would have loved is if there was fishing available in that little pool there. That would have been the best thing ever. Oh, yeah, and we put this maintenance man here. Oh, I had an idea about this while I was editing. I can't remember what it was anymore. I think I was going to put, like, a timber mill or something there. I don't know. By the way, as well, at Corsaira, the uh, Sickle Isle or whatever they were calling it, maybe it was just the Isle of Corsaira, uh, there were a lot of cool random little islands dotted around as well that I was interested in building bridges to. Shall we do one final attempt here? The attempt is this. We put a fishery there with a road to there. We build the bridge across no there is a bridge but in front of a rock nah guys it's it it's over it's over 
The other choice maybe is a fishery. Anything put on this island? I know this island looks valid. We could even get them over there probably. But they're just going to fish on that. Oh, look, the guy's patrolling all the way out here. That's awesome. All right, we need to do like an ocean map where we get a billion triremes and we have them patrol. Because so far we've only seen them on rivers, but they will go wherever the hell they please. Look at this. They're, they're roaming right out. Yeah, this is the very south here as well of the map, which we didn't see too much of before. And in fact, if we have a look here... The beach is actually substantially bigger. And look at all this space we had here. Oh, if I'd rotated the viewpoint, we could have built all along here. Look at all of this free real estate. Literally free real estate. But look, that's uh, that's one hell of a block. A nice industrial area here. I'm just admiring the city. Okay. Um, Zeus needs to be built. What is our unemployment? 59 workers needed. 49 workers needed. Oh, no, 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 they're evolving. Okay, we are going to super speed, and in the super speed, we're going to catch, well, save. Super speed Eolcus. We're going to see both the, um, and by the way, all of our goals should be met here, as you can see, except the sanctuary disease. That's really all we needed to do. Uh, we're going to watch them all build up, so let's go. And we're going to watch a billion things crash. We're going to watch a bunch of homeless people, mass exodusing, un undoubtedly. Oh. Yeah, there you go. It's broken. I will leave that there. I, I want the world to know I tried, you know. Oh, there are tax taxes to be collected as well. Gift of sculpture. Thanks, but I, I don't need the sculpture anymore. I'm sorry. I'm scared by saying no. They'll, they'll never offer it again. You know, maybe... Maybe I said no five years ago, but maybe now I desperately need it, you know? Well, so that won't work. Well, we've blocked, we've blocked it all off. All right, whatever. You guys live tax-free, okay? Now, just to be clear, these guys are actually working, aren't they? They're not working. They need a supply of marble for this project, but none is currently available. Are we not importing it? We're importing from Lemnos. But there's, there's too much wood here. This is just nuts. All right. We're going to sell less wood. We're going to sell less olive oil. So this pier, uh, time lapsing the pier now. So here's where my idea of an earliest date challenge is getting thrown in the bin. Because we're gonna we're genuinely going to spend years here staring at Eolcus. And by the way, look at this. A parent city with a single housing block. Employees needed, but that's good. That actually means we just stabilized roughly Give me the marble. I'm buying your marble. I'm buying as much as I can. Please buy. Please give me your marble Should we stop selling? I mean this is weird, isn't it? Postpone this is very weird. Is it because there's no marble storage available anymore? Did I get rid of all of our marble storage? That's an idea now, this road up around the back, this can be used amazingly, actually. This is pretty cool. Let's set these guys to both get marble. Maybe that's the issue. Well, let's set... Yeah, let's set them both to get and see what happens. We can get some sculpture and wood as well back here, too. With the maintenance man. So, sculpture... And wood. That means all the resources will be there. Yeah, thank you for the sculpture. I don't need that much sculpture. You're filling all my bays with all the sculpture. Well, the wood's coming in. No marble. Oh, there you go. They're selling. They're selling me such a small amount of marble. It's such a tiny amount of marble. What are you doing? I need to mine it up. Lemnos. Sympathetic. Buy. Sell me more. They only sell twelve a year. Okay, so impressions have a thing, by the way. <laughs> Let's do it. Impressions actually do have a thing where they say you can raid your allies. Look at this. All these horsemen here. You can raid your allies for what you need or even conquer them. And impressions say, okay, you could do that. 
So look, we can enlist Corsairo to help us or whatever. Would they pay us tributes in Marble if we do this? I'm just going to raid them for now, I guess. And we'll see. You have to remember, had we picked the Corinth mission as our colony, during the story of that colony, Lemnos would have become an enemy. When we returned to Eolcus in that timeline, we would have started with them an enemy, we could have attacked them straight away, and we'd be getting tribute of marble for free. So I think what it is, is it's if you picked what we did, and we go to Sickle Isle or whatever, uh, I guess... It's a bit of a fringe case and it's a bit weird where you get extremely low marble and you kind of end up having to attack your ally. Well, not having to, but it's a good idea. Uh, and they say, well, that might piss your allies off, but what's stopping you from conquering them as well? They literally suggest just be a tyrant. Just take the place over if you want. So if they think that's a cool idea, I'm going to try it as well. So there's a fire over here. I guess because... Oh, the poor horses. Oh, no, the horses aren't on fire. <laughs> I wonder if they ever had an idea where they were like, yeah, let's set the let's set the horses on fire. Oh, wait, maybe not. There you go. Let's, let's do that. So the wheat goes away. So look, all of our bays are pretty much running here. All of these bays are running. All the houses evolved incredibly well. This one didn't, and we always knew it wouldn't because of competitors. But mind you, that's an appeal issue. So allies hate us. So we could pay them off with gifts that they like. Or we could just conquer them, I suppose. Anyway, did the... Wait, wait, wait. If our allies hate us, does that mean that we got our marble? No, we're attacking still with the triremes. They're annoyed. <laughs> uh, another little thing. No, our army is sailing home. You have betrayed your allies. Yeah, I know. I did it for the marble. <laughs> we need marble! <laughs> I mean, we could just wait. We could be patient. It's slowly coming on in. They need 61 slabs, though. That's so much. Corsair, there you go. Marble plundered. Thank you. 12 marble. Lemnos becomes a resentful. Stymphalus becomes resentful. Naxus becomes resentful. You know, this is a good story, though. You know, this is how we fall from grace. So, they're an ally. Um, I need more... Oh, do you know what I could have done? I could have just requested it. That's Impressions that's done that to me. Because they had in their silly little walkthrough, why don't you conquer them? I could have just requested it. Well, here, look. I will. I will. I'm going to try and fix this. You like wood, so you can have that wood. You like wheat, so you can have that wheat. You're, you're just a, a nothing. You're our vassal, and they're dedicated to us. You're de uh, dedicated. Who's the other guy? Naxos, that you're resentful. You like fleece. And I'll give you fleece. So we'll play this forwards. Trade with Lemnos suspended. No, 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 no. All right. Well, they're grateful for the wood. Grateful for the fleece. Grateful for the wheat. Where are you now? Sympathetic. <laughs> we have to do a lot here. Um, okay, look. Here's more wood. And here's more fleece. Yeah, they're resentful. Good guys, to be honest. Well done to you for continuing that resentment after I was just truly awful to you. You want wheat, and I don't even sell you the wheat. So there you go. Trade with an axe or suspended. Can we get our trade back, please? Because I will have to conquer you and take tribute. If we can't repair these relations. Oh, my God. They're suspending trade with all of us. All right, that's it then. All right. I'm sorry, we have to conquer you, and we have to get our tribute. Enlist, go. Take him out. Zeus must be honoured. I will conquer Zeus. Life doesn't have to be unpleasant. I will conquer, sorry, I'll conquer Zeus. I will conquer all of Greece for the marble for my dear Zeus. Allies hate us. We conquered Lemnos, good. Tribute paid up but of marble by Lemnos. There you go, eight marble. So every year now, we get a free eight marble. So in quite a few years, we'll have more. Now, they're bitter but, bitter, but they are our vassals. So I will just give you more wood until they're not bitter. There you go. Victorious warriors return. They're grateful for the wood. Everyone's resentful. That's fine. Employees are needed. Maybe because people are leaving because they don't like working under a tyrant. The power's gone to my head, guys. What do you want from me? The power's gone to my head. So I give them even more wood, and then when they're a little bit happier, I'm going to beg for some marble. 
There you go, they're grateful for the words. What's going on? Can I... Uh, enemy army sailing towards your city? It says they're loyal. Alright, so give me wood, please. I, c I can actually order that from them. We'll bribe off whoever's about to attack us. Lemnos grants marble. Six marble. Trade should be resumed since they are our vassal. No, it's this one. Yeah, trade has resumed. So let's watch a little bit of marble come in here. Decline. Don't need all the sculpture. I mean, for the past 10 minutes here, I, well, for the past 20 minutes, I've just basically been... There you go. Tribute of marble. And I like how it's teleporting up there as well. So they are getting to work. Oh, no, it's not teleporting up there. It's going somewhere else. Oh, yeah, I interrupted myself. There we go. We've got the roof on. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Still 20 loads of marble actually left. Um, so another thing... Uh, Impressions say that once you have Tyremes, if you go to plunder and raid other people, the Tyremes will bring back more stuff. You can plunder more with boats. That, so the amount of stuff you get back uh, increases if you're doing it with your navy versus if you're doing it on foot because they can't carry the stuff around. It's pretty interesting, right? Corsaira is just throwing these sculptures at me. I mean, there you go. Look, we just put them all around. There's eight. Oh, there we go. So we're only, let's say we, we can buy eight a year and we're being gifted eight a year. That means that here we're in March, April. <laughs> Dionysus is desperate for me to worship him. Er Eretria loves us. Okay, people like us again, I guess now. I suppose if you have enough money and power, and let's say we're sending our spies out throughout the world, we, uh, we can get away with awful, terrible things. And no one will challenge us. Until the next adventure. Come on. There you go. Tribute. Eight marble. That's it. That's our last marble. So they're going to build this. And then they're going to build this. Zeus's stronghold is complete. The sanctuary to the great god Zeus now gloriously reaches toward his lofty home. Zeus is smiling on you. We've read this before. And last time we read this, it was the very last thing we did in an adventure. And this time is the very last thing we're doing in an adventure. And look. Look, those guys are struggling. Because they didn't get any fleece. But otherwise. Now, Eolcus is truly a powerful kingdom. Nearly all the cities in Greece call you either friend or master. And Zeus looks with pride upon the city of Eolcus and its capable leader. There we have it. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty good. Zeus will walk among the elites. Once again, we will not see his powers. Hopefully, one of these adventures we will. If not, I'll find a way to force it in. Um. You have taken Eolcus from its humble beginnings and built it into the most powerful kingdom in all of Greece, risking the wrath of gods and mortals alike to achieve your destiny. Along the way, you have liberated a hero from the underworld, slain the fearsome Caledonian boar, and restored one of Greece's most treasured possessions, the Golden Fleece, to its proper place. Zeus, who had once cursed your family, now blesses you and celebrates your name throughout Mount Olympus. Huzzah! There we go. That's the uh, the adventure complete. I was telling the wife just the other day how satisfying it is to sanctify buildings. There you go. See, so he will speak to us with voice acting, even when he's not angry at us. So sometimes they do when you right-click them, so why not? So look, it looks like Zeus blessed this gym. It will produce twice the number of athletes until the sanctification wears off. Look at that. And here they actually say in-game exactly what it does. That's cool. I don't know if Zeus can just bless like anyone and everything. Look at him. Zeus near his own statue. That's a nice moment there. And he's got even more here too. I, I see how they've just basically reused the asset. But whatever. It looks good. In fact, they fully have. Like Even the floor is probably being reused. The whole thing. Yeah, and he walks among... I would love to live here. So, all the commoners of this town fit and are fed by a single water fountain. This entire town has one water fountain and one infirmary across the entire thing. And look at all the industry we've managed to build. Look at all the elites that we've got here. That's pretty fantastic. Well, not quite that fantastic. Don't forget, there is the palace district. It's got barely any houses in it, though, let's be real. And again, they only have one water fountain. Oh, we could man the triremes as well. We are slightly... I'm going to put the wage rate to very high now, and that should balance. There you go, 45 workers needed. We are a couple of houses to shy, or... 
a couple of buildings, shy, whichever one, um, to, a couple of buildings too many, whichever one you want to believe. And in fact, what we could do is close down those storehouses that are buried at the back of Zeus right now. They were only there to build the sanctuary. They're not needed anymore. That would clean up that last tiny bit of employment, which is essentially irrelevant, but kind of make this a perfect city. Now, um, I'm going to say we're a couple of houses shy because would you believe it? There are, there are more building tricks. I'm not going to say this is the last one, because I don't know, honestly. There might be even more. But there is another really cool thing that I actually learned. I, in the first few episodes of this Let's Play, I didn't know about. I thought that once we got to Force Walkers, that was as advanced as it was going to get, and it was over. Um, but no, there's another thing. It's, it's actually easier to do, I think, once you understand the logic of it. I've teased it a couple of times. It is why this house, way off in the back here is okay even though he's nowhere near any roads the uh, the closest road he's near is this roadblock so join me next time on the next adventure let's save eolcus thrives i feel a bit bad about how we treated our allies there but we're gonna save so we can go back to that anytime i might make a big screenshot of that at some point so we'll say new adventure join me next time for what i thought we were going to move to before hercules's labors we will be at Hercules' city, Tyrins, and I really don't know what's in store for us. Um, and we're, we're well into the second half of the game now, guys. We've done the vast majority of the adventures. After Hercules, there's just two more, the Peloponnesian War and the Trojan War. By the way, one of these, I think it's the Peloponnesian War. Do you remember when we were Athens and um, Sparta was majorly against us? I'm pretty sure this is the other side of that conflict. I'm pretty sure this time we are Sparta taking out Athens. So that's cool. But first, we've got Hercules' labors. We have the Hydra. And we've got this new building thing. We'll probably go back to the lab. There is also, and we're going to see it straight away in this new adventure, a new resource that, believe it or not, you've never seen any buildings, no walkers. You've never even seen it available for trade at all in the first four adventures, which is really weird to me, actually. But we'll have that to look forward to as well. I'm pretty sure it's there right at the start of Hercules' story. So I'll see you guys for that. Thanks very much for watching. Sincerely, I hope you've been enjoying the show. I'm still really, really liking uh, playing through it. And, um, and yeah, uh, take care of yourselves now, and I'll see you soon. Trim that sail! Look lively! Enemies are coming, and we must be ready! My crew is as skilled as Argonauts. It won't be long before this enemy is dead in the water. It'll take all of my crew's skill to defeat this formidable opponent. That's a titanic problem if I've ever seen one.